out wide. And Milburn, there's the five minute warning. Five minutes of actual game time to be played here. Demons by two. Milburn chips it back inside the Bartell. Point of the square, left half back. Decides to switch play. Almost dangerously. Corey had to make a contest. He did. Robertson and Scarlett. Robertson's doing it both then. Now Davey. Davey chips it short. Loose play and Motlop in the centre of the ground. Motlop. Oh, he's hit late by Milburn. Is that downfield? No. Godfrey. Godfrey and Bartell. Godfrey just knocks to the line and is happy to see it over. Boundary throw in at half forward. And going back, Motlop and Milburn. It was a late hit by Milburn, but umpire said it was OK. Maybe just as he got rid of it, but it was right on the line. Nathan Ablett coming off the ground, replaced by Playfair. Meantime, back in the action, it's the Demons with control. White sends it forward. Uze! He's on the right side for a left footer. Oh, he'll take his time here. Adam Uze, who has spent so much of the year in the forward line after so much of his career as a midfielder. Of course, 198 consecutive games with the Demons. Six possessions, just the one behind today. And he's got a behind, which it all counts. We're inside the last five minutes. Melbourne holding on to a three-point lead. Now, this their season is on the line. Now, I know this is the time you don't want to be a full-back, I can tell you. Only minutes to play, and the last line is probably the worst line to be on. Well, Josh Hunt has got that responsibility for the Cats. Tenace breaks. And the kick is a well-placed one from Hunt. He's got nothing on, but he automatically drives it up to a Kelly Wheatley battle. Kelly outnumbered, gets the support to Nace, throws his body over it. Maloney wrapped up, and the line saved him. Otherwise, it would certainly have been holding the ball. But it was over. Right decision. Three points the margin. It's a time not to make mistakes. It's a time for heroes as well. Reed, the Demons will be happy to lock this up. The umpire tries to keep it going. 26 and a half minutes gone. Final quarter from Skilled Stadium. This game's had it all. Bounce on the wing, White. Knocks it out wide. Taken by Corey. Towards half forward. Out comes a good well done by Miller. He read it brilliantly. And he marks on his chest at half back. So Melbourne, still a few minutes left. We're inside the final five minutes of actual game time. Play on, play on court now as he just kicks it long and high towards the wing. And almost a good mark taken by Bartel, but it spills off his hands and over. So a boundary throw in on centre wing. The Cats have got it all to do. They led by nearly six goals midway through the second turn. White from the back, wins it forward. Reed tries to crush his way through. Can't. Oh, he's been pinned for throwing it. Oh, dear. Not sure about that. We have another look at it. He's, he doesn't know either for a read. Kick towards half forward. Almost the mark to Miller. They dive in on top of the football. Maloney's got it. Needs to get it out. Umpire says, give it to me. Umpire win. So a bounce, 40 metres from Geelong's goal. As time continues to tick away, uh, he's good umpiring. He did throw it. I'm with Nick for some. Mooney up high. We were blindsided, Steve. <laughs> so umpire win calls for it again. Geelong in a goal-scoring position here. Can't be too long left. Perhaps a couple of minutes. White knocks it out wide. It's all Melbourne. Ferguson. Handball towards the line and over. Ablett appeals for out deliberately, but umpire Wen says throw it in. There's Gary Ablett pleading with umpire Wen. He wants nothing to do with it. Boundary throw in half forward for Geelong. Melbourne by three points. What a stirring victory this would be for the Demons. White out of the centre. It's all Geelong. Tenace bangs it along to the goal square. Kingsley can't take it. A chance for number Maloney getting back to help. Kicks the outside of the boot. Davey needs to be clean here with his hands. 
Handball was cut down by Bartell. David dancing on the spot. Kicks towards Godfrey Cutmark. Tense for Lee. Going hard at it, Reed. He takes it over and... Oh! Oh, that's a terrible decision. <laughs> that's a terrible decision. He was running at full tilt, Ling with the free kick. Drives it inside 50, Bizzle tracks back with it. This is where courage and skill is required. Johnson, oh. the men in blue came for him. He was wrapped up. Very lucky Steve Johnson had time to release the handballs and was tackled. Here's this, this is the three. deliberate. No, you, can't, you can't pay that. He was running full tilt. Picked it up at less than a metre inside the line. Siren could go any second. Over the top. Travis Johnston needs to handle it cleanly. He can't. They go to ground. Burns. Applet into full forward. Which way? Wrong way. Wrong way for Geelong and for Ablett. 30 minutes gone. That could be it. Two points the difference. Hearts in mouth stuff. Melbourne lead. They were 34 points down. 17 minutes into the second quarter. And now the ball's back in play. Long towards halfback. Big pack of players. Melbourne off hand. Concedes ground Bartell. Now a chance to look. He kicks to attacking 50. Egan. Egan's marked an attacking 50. He needs to be careful. The Soren could go at any point. He's going to go back. He wants to kick a goal, Matthew Egan. Oh. Thank you.